Welcome to the Late Night with Little Fappy X Season 3 Pitch Meeting. Uh, technically this is Season 7. I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, this, uh, the way you did the seasons, the first season was the shit that you did before the Late Night, then two seasons of the Late Night, then the Great Pirate Era, then there's the gaming stuff that you did, which is like its own standalone season, and then there's all that weird shit you did with Soup Party and Hipstar. That's probably like a whole season, so this would probably be like season seven. Okay, late night season seven. Ideas, who's got them? Uh, since, you know, Chesway broke up with Saiyans and April just got arrested and divorced from Aaron, I was thinking maybe we should get Ted and Aaron together for a spin-off show called You Actually Are My Ex-Husband. Thank you for being a Hey girl, it's me, Chaz, and my homie, April M. Hall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hi, <laughs> fresh out of jail, <laughs> California dreaming. <laughs> hey girl, so I just said, first episode of this show, we need to just come out here and tell our husbands, uh, excuse me, you actually are my ex husband. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, you, you actually are my ex husband. <laughs> Ah, uh, that sounds funny for about three seconds. Uh, well, you know, just, we just throw stuff at the wall, man. That's, that's what pitch meetings are. Uh, personally, I think we should just stick to the formula of making reaction videos. Uh, maybe do some of this, like, comedy enforcement, too lazy to try, you know, junior red boss stuff. Hey guys, welcome to Too Lazy to Enforce with Little Fappy X. Today we're going to be looking at a Too Lazy to Try video where we're going to talk about a video of Brendan Schaub that he watched and the thoughts that he had. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I basically agree with everything he has to say, so, uh, all right! <laughs> all right, so, like, what were you thinking? Uh, well, you know, I did have this idea of, like, a boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> I was thinking, like, what if all the streamers we know mysteriously got invitations to take a cruise on a stream-based cruise line? <laughs> carnival stream, stream cruise, carnival yards, you know, whatever. So then we're going to have, like, like Mersh and BGL and Brennan Schaub and Sands and, you know, we'll get all of the favorite characters from the show together. They all get on the boat. And it seems like this amazing opportunity. They're all bragging about it. And then the ship sets sail and about a mile offshore, all of their phones die. Anyway, the story's really about, like, what happens when these guys are left alone with themselves for seven days with no reinforcement from the internet? What happens when they're freed from the corrupting influence of a cheering and demanding audience? Some of them will grow and change and get better. Others will self-destruct and fall into old habits. And then at the end of it, it'll be like yada yada, I don't know, Mr. Beast for whatever reason, to destroy them all. And he was the big bad the whole time. Woo, woo, woo. And there'll be like, you know, like a big fight. I, uh, I do like the idea of including Mr. Beast, uh, perhaps even PewDiePie. I don't know. I just feel like all this growing stuff is kind of outside of our wheelhouse. Like our audience isn't here to learn and grow. They're, they're just here to laugh at people. I know, but what's a more ruthless tease than burying somebody's soul naked and showing them how they should grow and then being able to compare that to the mistakes that they're making? Uh, we'll put a pin in it. You know, kid, I'm with the snake. It sounds like a Hallmark special, and uh, it just feels off-brand from titties, 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 you know? Oh my god, Sanji, did you just get turned into a human again? Holy fucking shit! I'm back to my old self! Fuck yeah, doggy! How the fuck did that happen? Oh, dude, remember when that wizard put that curse on me? I remember he said some shit like, a snake you'll be for all to see until you're doxxed by a little dweeb. Dude, I probably just got doxxed or something. Oh shit, let me, let, let's look on the internet. Oh yeah, dude, you totally got doxxed by that fucking Harry Potter looking ass motherfucker. Hey guys, it's me, Wush. The mysterious character you see on my screen is the real face of Belle and the Snake. <laughs> yeah. I bet you guys will stop being friends with him and start being friends with me now. I, I guess that must have broke the curse. I guess people just had to see who you are for you to stop being who you're not? Oh, dude, I gotta fucking take that guy's hand. This is fucking phenomenal. It's like, it's not that I don't like being a transgender skateboarding snake, but it's gonna be so fucking sweet to have hands again. Dude, I haven't touched my dick in like four years. All right, so, I don't know, we're cool with this? Fuck yeah, doggy. I said, I'm going to send that dude a bottle of wine. This is fucking great. I get to be a regular guy again. 
I heard somebody got docked. Somebody, are we fighting? We're fighting in here? Uh, you need someone taken out? Let me know. I got you. No, Rex. It's, I, it, oh, doggy. What the fuck happened to you? Jesus Christ. Someone made you gay as shit. Uh, no, no. This just, just my regular face. No, doggy, doggy. You used to have like, I don't know, fangs and a snake tongue. And you were, you were like, you were pretty cool before. But now you just look fucking gay, dude. You know what, Rex? We're kind of in a meeting. So if you could just excuse us. Thank you. Okay, okay, all right. I get it. Woo, touchy. Sorry, forgot it was Pride Month. Anyway, I'll, I'll be in the other room. So, I don't really know what the plot is, but I kind of want to end with this massive anime fight. And it's like, it's me, and it's Sanji, and Potato Boy. And Potato Boy starts powering up, and he gets like, he hulks up, and he gets all big and muscular, but then his skin goes gold, like Gold Freezer, but then his hair goes like blue and purple, like Super Saiyan God Ego, whatever the Dragon Ball thing is. And he'll get like the fucking red eyes, like Naruto, and maybe like the Naruto no- nose and whiskers, and like the nine tails. And he's gonna have fucking Thanos' glove, and Thor's hammer, and he's gonna like, he's gonna power up, and he'll be like, I'm happy! Let's do this! I'll be like, fuck yeah, doggy, and Anime Bell's gonna be there, and she's gonna have Mr. Poopy Octopus, uh, symbiote thing all over her, so she can fuck some motherfuckers up. Rex is gonna be there. Oh, doggy, doggy, we fighting someone? Hey, I'm saying I think that we should be fighting someone. Oh, uh, I mean, first I gotta pitch the idea. We, we gotta see it. Dude. dude, vote me in. Vote me in. We're doing this. Rex, one vote for fucking some dudes up. Um, what's my role in this? Oh, dude, I was thinking it's like, you're going to be looking at me like we're on the battlefield. On the other side is like, fucking whoever the big bad is. Maybe it's like Evil Rick and fucking uh, Gold Freezer and the Al- Crocodile weird ghost super killer guy from Jujutsu Kaisen. And fucking, we just have like all the baddest guys. Fucking the villain from season three of Made in Abyss. Just all the nastiest pieces of work that we can find. And we'll pepper in some of our guys. You know, maybe maybe Mersh will be possessed by the Jujutsu Kaisen uh, super fighter ghost or whatever. And, uh, and you're going to be like, hey, dude, I got the military. You just take care of the big bad. And I'm going to be like, the military? And you'd be like, yeah, dude, just don't make me have to clean up after you. And then, like, once the fight starts, you're going to go, like, slithering all around, and you're just going to start eating soldiers. But every time you eat one, you get bigger and bigger and bigger until you're, like, you look like the giant fucking world snake from fucking God of War. And then you're just going to be, like, breathing fire on helicopters and, like, smashing fucking tanks. And you'll be going through the city, like, slither.io. Dude, it's going to be fucking sick. Uh, I mean, that would be cool, except, uh, you know, I'm not a snake anymore, so I probably wouldn't be able to do that shit. God damn it! furious. I'm fucking furious right now. You even have a fucking story written. You just wanted to have some fucking big budget thing. Yeah, um, you know, not to cut you off here, but, uh, we don't really have, you know, the budget for, uh, I don't know, Marvel Cinematic Universe type fighting, Fappy. What kind of fucking budget do we have? Uh, you know, it's like, you know, I, at this point, we might be lucky to get a favor from Ken TV. That's, that's about where we are. Yeah, that's right. Ian, you're a fucking faggot. Oh, no, you. Yeah, that's right. That sucks, dude, because I had the sweetest idea. I was going to be like, I was going to point at Gold Freezer, and I was going to be like, Potato Boy, fuck that lizard. And, and then Freezer was going to be like, who's this monkey? But it's going to be like One Piece when like uh, Luffy was fighting Luchi, and it's like Luchi looks up, but by the time he looks up, Luffy's already in his face, smashing him in the face. And fucking Potato Boy's gonna punch Golden Freezer, but he's gonna punch him so hard his body's gonna fucking vaporize. And as he's coming down, his fist is gonna get caught by uh, Saitama from One Piece. But then there's gonna be a massive explosion from his punch touching his hand. So gonna, there's gonna be like a force field around it. And it's gonna be like Satori's like got a bubble around, it, like yo got this. And then like you'll see all kinds of like explosions, like psh, 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 and, like lightning and shit. And, like you'll see like the Looney Tune like bones within the bubble. And then like Satori's gonna be like struggling to hold down the force field, but then iPhone will show up behind him. What's the passcode? Oh no no, no I was I wasn't calling you. I was just saying you might be in the story. Incorrect. Two more chances. What's the passcode? Oh, for the fucking love of God. 12, 23, 17. Correct. Tony, is there any way I could, like, like, what happens if I, uh, disconnect the passcode? Uh, kid, yeah, I wouldn't do that, because that would basically give, you know, access to anybody who knows the name of the ethereal elemental... Uh, and they would not only have unbelievable powers, but they would also be able to run up charges on your credit card. Ah, for the fucking love of God. All right, so iPhone, anyway, I was going to say you were going to be there helping Satori Jojo or whatever his name is, and then fucking Force Heal goes away. Maybe Co- Goku catches him, and then they all disappear, and they just, Potato Boy's, like, laying there on the ground, but then all of a sudden, like, purple blood rains down all over him, and then fucking Freezer's head falls on the ground, and, like, when Potato Boy jumped up to punch Freezer, he's going to be like, who's that monkey? But he's going to be like, who's that? And then he gets punched, and then when his head hits the ground, he's going to be like, monkey. And he's gonna fucking just die, and then moves on to like the next thing in the battle. Like, it would have been sweet. It would have been fucking super sweet. 
Well, um, it is important to use established IPs that have fan bases because that will bring a lot more eyes to the channel. In fact, if we could spend less time with characters like Mersh and whatever these other internets are, and more time with celebrities, I, as your agent, would appreciate that. What about, like, what about my peers? Like, there are people that are kind of, like, in this animation game with me. I, it's a good idea to get to know people at your level. Who do you have in mind? All right, first there's this guy, Ace Vane. Ace, he's part of this uh, larger thing called the Comedy Collective with Justin Richburg, and the two of them, they put out cartoons. They, together they make the collective cartoons, and then Richburg has, like, his own manga, and then Ace does, like, he's, like, the comedy side. Like, he does, like, Justice League, Justice League uh, cartoons, but it's, like, good Justice League. Um, he could be a good guest. Well, yeah, I, he could, but I was just thinking, like, if you ever watch his Twitter, he's always, like, writing out stuff like, Hey, yo, just to let y'all know, I'm the fucking killer around here. I'll murder anyone. Fuck all animators. My ego is the best. Suck my dick. <laughs> that, uh, is gonna make him hard to work with. So, what's your angle here? I, the angle is, I think we're gonna, we go through his Twitter, we just clip up all those times when, like, he's being an egomaniac. Like, I don't, I don't know, maybe he's bipolar, maybe he drinks, maybe he's, once in a while he gets turned up. But he's, he writes these really cringy things about how dopey he is and how everybody better back the fuck off. And I, I just thought it would be fun to, like, press on that. Okay, so I have a question for you. Go. Do you hate this guy? No. Do you want to see him taken down or hurt in any way? Not particularly. So then why would you fight with him? I don't understand the question. Alright, alright. I definitely heard that somebody... Wants to fight? Is there is there a fight? Don't bring up the fight. Let it rumble. I'm here. I'm here. I I don't have to throw hands. I just watch. What's going on here? No, I just I'm talking about how Fappy has like a self-destructive nature and how like if we looked into this guy, everything Fappy doesn't like about him is probably stuff that Fappy does, which is also why he is also unsuccessful. Rex, we're almost done here. If you could just excuse us and give us about ten more minutes. Uh, I, you want to fight, Tony? You saying you want to fight? Kid, you're not fighting me. You're in a lifelong battle with yourselves. Oh, you think I won't fuck me up? You think I won't beat my own ass? Give me a you Tim Hortons drinking motherfucking fucking bread truck driving ass motherfucker fucking samurai. Oh, you're going to be the best. That kid has got some serious issues. Yeah, well, I like him. Who are these other quote unquote peers that you're talking about? Alright, there's this guy, his name is Devil Artemis, and he just does like the Cell games, like that last scene from like, remember when Team Four Star did like seven Cell games, like mini fights, like he just does that as like a show, that's like his whole show, and uh, he just had this community post where he's starting a Patreon, and he's like, hey guys, I apologize, I know my videos have been lacking in quality lately, the reason for that is, I don't have enough free time, you know, yada yada yada, I'm a father of five. So anyway, if you would please join my Patreon, then the perks are, not only will he have more high quality cartoons, he'll post more often, he'll post stuff just for the Patreon, he'll watch wrestling with the Patreon, he'll do commentary with the Patreon, he'll do voice acting lessons with the Patreon, he'll do animation lessons, he'll basically do anything with the Patreon, and he's now part of a Discord where he's constantly talking to people. So his solution to not having time is to try and do 15 more things with the limited amount of time he has? Exactly. And he's the father of five? Yes. Uh, I mean... We can press on him. Alright, I'm gonna go back to my previous line of questioning. Do you hate him? No. Do you want to see him taken down, destroyed, or ruined in any way? Not particularly. Then why would you start a fight with him? I don't understand the question. Uh... I mean, we could fight him because he also has a character named Rex that always wants to fight with people. <laughs> Me. Okay, okay, <laughs> you guys are just fucking with me, right? Because I definitely just heard Rex and fight. Who who wants to fight? Uh, we were thinking about having to fight this guy named Rex. I, dog, I just beat the shit out of a guy named Rex. Fappy, it sounds like you have a lot of good ideas, but I kind of thought we were just going to play video games all summer. Yeah, we are going to do that. You know, I'm not opposed to you just being Twitch kids. These small clips have been delightful. And they get more than 15 views. I mean, we could, we could do that. We could just keep doing whatever we're doing. Why don't we, why don't we do that then? We'll, do, we'll see everybody in June. All right, fine. We'll see everybody in June. Rex, uh, if you can wait for me outside, um, you and me are going to go have an adventure. All right, buddy? Fucking you got it, doggy. We're going to go fight some guys? 
You goddamn right, we're gonna go fight some guys. So are these strong guys? Oh, the strongest. Oh, it's gonna be a hard fight, right? Dude, it's, it's gonna be nuts. Dude, I can't fucking wait. Oh, I'm gonna fucking wreck these guys. Urgh! Oh, I fucking love fighting. Yeah, yeah, well, we're here, we're here. Um, you see that guy over there? Go fuck him up real quick. Oh, dude, you ain't even gotta say less. Say less. Hey, wait a minute. You know he's just gonna come back, right? Why? You didn't. <laughs>